Committed Club. Committed Club. Oh. All your name on the newsletter. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. I, I'm going to do a short commercial. If you haven't read the newsletter, go ahead and read it. It's really informational. So check out the newsletter. And a lot of hard work goes into it. So a if you guys want to support. It's, say, like, who <laughs> spends their time on this? It's like one of this my least favorite things to do. Oh, my God. But I like it. I like when I hear that people read it because it makes me feel better about doing it. So you can always lie and just tell her you. I always read. Good, thank you, Sue. <laughs> yeah, I read half of it at work on Tuesday. Always. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna, I can, Brittany, I still can't see you and I can't hear you. I can see your fan, but um, hopefully you can see us. All right. It's all good. So I heard this last week was a lot of, um, what did she say? There's some like shoulder stuff. There was some devil presses the other day. Today. Today. Mm -hmm. So we'll do some things for the upper traps and then we'll do some things for the hips. So does anybody have another body part you want to point to and we can work on that body part? Anybody want to point to a body part? Everyone's fine? Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna, I think Tears, well, we'll just go ahead and we're gonna kind of start and kind of just kind of center ourselves and let's just stand up to center ourselves today. So let's first do a little bit of movement. We're gonna um, roll through the shoulders, inhaling shoulders forward and up, exhaling shoulders back and down. Two more like that, inhaling shoulders forward and up. Exhaling back and down, and then one more time. Shoulders up, and then exhale back and down. Okay, so let's gain um, a little bit of awareness in our feet by rocking from our toes to heels. Core is engaged. Knees are a little bit soft, so it's a little bit easier to balance with the knees a little bit softer. Good, just do a teeny bit of movement. And then we're going to go ahead, settle into those feet, play those toe, toes open wide. We'll roll the shoulders back and down, and we're going to begin class in Tadasana or Mountain Pose. We're going to soften our face and our eyes. Take the breath in nice and long. Exhale the breath nice and long. Inhale. And long exhales. Thinking about on those exhales, just releasing. Inhale, taking your body as it is with all of its kinks and weird things and exhaling out your day and all that has happened to you. One more breath like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, releasing out your day. On the next in-breath, we're going to inhale, bring the hands up to the heart center, and just pause for a moment and think about why you're here. So it's always good to just check in with what's your motivation right now? What do you want to gain or hope to accomplish with this time? So just thinking about that. We'll go ahead and take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold the breath in, sealing that intention into the space. And then exhale out. Relax the arms down. Okay, let's begin our practice today with a few forward folds. So let's again bring the hands up to the heart center. Recheck the toes to make sure they're pointing forward. We're going to inhale, draw the arms up by the ears. And then with the exhale, soft knees as you take it to the forward fold. Chin to the chest, gaze between the legs, and just hang for a few breaths. You can bring your hands onto those knees or let those fingertips dangle down towards the floor. Long breaths here. Inhale, let's press the legs straight, lift the torso all the way up. And again, exhale, forward 
fold, soft knees, hands come to the knees, or they can dangle down to the floor. Consciously let go of your back. Let go of tension through the hips. And once again, if you need that support, hands on the knees is fine. Look between those legs. And then one more time, inhale, press to the feet. We're drawing the body all the way up to the sky. And then on the exhale, soft knees, forward folding down, chin to the chest. And here, as we're hanging now, let's go ahead and bend and straighten the legs a little bit. You can do them both at the same time or alternate one leg straight, one leg bent, switching sides, whatever feels good. Now, as you're in this forward position, just check out which side of your low back might be tight. Check out which um, hamstring might be a little bit more tense. Just noticing those areas of the body. And hopefully we get to witness those things change throughout our practice tonight. We'll inhale, press the feet, legs straight, lift the body all the way upright. And with the exhale, let's float the hands down, releasing them to the heart center. Great job. Let's go ahead, take the feet wide, turn those toes out, towards the corners of the mat there. We're just gonna do some movement and getting some heat uh, circulating through the body. So we're gonna do two breaths in through the nose and then one breath out through the mouth. And you can actually open your mouth up. So good, inhale twice through the nose. Exhale once out the mouth. We're gonna add the arms. Inhale twice through the nose. Exhale once out the mouth. Inhale, straightening out the legs. Exhale, bending those knees. Four more. Two more. Last one here. And then we'll bring our stance in. Wiggle out through the hips. Letting some of that tension go in your body. Let's take all 10 toes, splay them open nice and wide. And again, the toes are all pointing towards that long edge. We're gonna take the hands at the heart center. Inhale, press through the feet, lift the arms by the ears. And on the exhale, we're gonna drift the right arm down and lean over to that right side. Inhaling up to the top. Exhale, let the left arm float down, leaning over to the left side, shoulders stay back. Inhale, floating up to center. Exhale, releasing to the side. Inhale, floating up to center, core is engaged. And exhale, floating to the side. This next one we're gonna hold. So inhale, draw that left arm up. Exhale, release the right arm down. Lean to the right side. Let's hold the shoulders back here. Press down into the floor, firm and straight legs. Lean, maybe just a little bit more. If there's tension or you feel pain, of course, don't lean that far. But maybe just play here a little bit and see if you can go just a little bit further, making sure your legs stay straight, legs are firm. Good, drift the right ear to the right shoulder. Really opening through the neck as well. Inhale, we'll press through the big toes, rise the right arm up. Exhale, slow to float that left arm down. Left ear drops to the left shoulder. Keep pressing into those big toes. Firm and strong legs here. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the nose. Good. Inhale, we'll draw that left arm up by the left ear. Feel the length in the spine. Good. Inhale, we're going to press the big toes into the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Exhale to hold, just lifting. 
Feel as if you're maybe even like um, hanging on the pull-up bar here, so you can really feel the spine decompress as you're reaching the arms up, letting the feet sink into the floor. Great job. Inhale with the exhale, slow to float, float those arms out to the sides and returning the hands to the heart center. Great job. Let's bring it over to the left edge. We're just going to do a few downward facing dogs. So there's, there's nothing like a downward facing dog to open the shoulders and open uh, the hamstrings and the ankles. So let's inhale, draw the arms up by the ears. And on the exhale, soften your knees and release to your forward fold down. We're going to drift our fingertips onto the floor and walk our feet back, yet keep our hips up. Arms straighten out right by the ears. Knees bend slightly so you can really feel the opening in the spine first. Then those knees, toes on the floor, heels are up. And then slowly straighten the right leg and then the left Ooh. And you can tell which side is the tight one. Box jumps and things like that. Okay, those calves, those ankles, feel it. Jump roping. So just be kind. Continuously press those arms strong and straight into the earth. Chest is reaching towards the thighs. Keep that integrity in your spine as you slowly cycle the right heel down and the left heel down. So let's take a break and let's take a moment to just hang out on the one that's a little bit tighter. Keep pressing the arm straight, hang out on that uh, heel, that ankle that's a little bit tight, that heel that just is stubborn and doesn't want to get to the floor. Just breathe into that ankle, into that calf muscle. Good. And then slowly switch sides again. Cycling back and forth, right side and left side for just another moment. And then let's take both legs straight, just as straight as you can. Really attempt to reach the heels downward. Core is engaged and the chest is reaching towards the thighs. Shaking is completely normal. So just go with it. If it gets to be too overwhelming, bend your knees and you can release the knees to the floor to take a break. Otherwise, continue to hang out as much as you can. Inhale, and then with the exhale, slow to walk the toes towards those fingertips. Hang out in that forward fold for a second. And we'll inhale, press the feet into the mat, lift the body upright. And we're gonna do it one more time. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Reach the fingertips to the mat, walk the feet back to your bent knee downward facing dog. Arms are strong and straight by the ears, knees are bent, heels are lifted, and then slowly walk the right heel down and then the left heel down. Breathe here, holding that. If those shoulders are feeling too tired, that's okay. You can always take the knees to the floor and take it into child's pose. Once again, hanging out on that leg that seems to be a little bit tight. Hopefully it's not quite as tight here. Good. Inhale with the exhale, switch sides. And then walk back and forth, right heel, left heel for another moment. Inhale with the exhale, let's be slow to walk the toes towards the fingertips. Hang out in that forward fold for a moment here. Chest releasing towards the thighs. Chin is dropped down towards the chest. Gaze between the legs. And then we'll inhale, press to the feet. We're coming all the way, all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, releasing the hands to the heart center. Good job. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna start with a few warriors now. So let's take that right foot open to the right side, pivot the left foot inward. We're gonna go ahead and do a few of these rotations. So inhale, chest and hips are towards that open area. Exhale, we're gonna close the hips off to the right side. So drop the left hip forward. So inhale, open to the side, and exhale, 
pivot and turn. Good. Inhale, open to the side, and then exhale, pivot and turn. One more time. Inhale, we're opening to the side. Exhale, we're pivoting and turning. And let's hold there. Can you straighten out your legs a little bit more? Can you lift your torso up out of your hips a little bit more? Good. So strong and straight through both legs. Really connect with that left foot behind you. Inhale with the exhale, slow to bend that right knee. Now as the right knee bends, you're gonna feel the torso wants to fall forward. Struggle to keep the torso up and maybe don't bend the right knee quite so far. Lift through the chest. Two more times, inhale, we'll press the right knee straight. Exhale, slow to bend the right knee. Keep the chest lifted, square through the hips. Really connect that left foot into the floor. Good. One more time. Inhale, press the right leg straight. Exhale, bend through the right knee and hold it. Now here, roll your shoulders back and down. We're gonna release the arms down at your side and slowly reach back like you're opening your chest here. Oh, both arms reach back. You can join them if you like or just let them hang out back there. Just lift through the chest. Tuck the tailbone under and feel the power through your core as you stay with the top. Great job. Inhale, with the exhale, let's release the arms directly down from your side. Inhale, we'll draw both arms up by the ears to look up towards the ceiling. Core is engaged and think about lifting up, 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 out of your hips first, and then just a gentle little bit of a back bend. Keep the core engaged and keep pressing those feet into the floor. Great job. Inhale, let's press the right leg straight. Exhale, releasing arms down, unwinding the hips and bringing that stance in and relax, letting all of that go. Great job. Let's take that same pivoting over to the left side. So your left foot is um, parallel with the mat, right foot is pivoted in. Inhale, your chest and hips are open to that right side. On the exhale, turn the hips to the left. Good, inhale, exhale, turn the hips open. Inhale, exhale, close the hips to that left side. One more time, inhale with the exhale, open to the side. Inhale, and then with the exhale, turn to that left side. Now, see here, we always want to lean forward. Let's bring the shoulders directly up over the hips, straighten out those legs as much as possible, and press the feet into the floor, like you're trying to almost even jump up towards the ceiling here, legs are strong. Inhale here, exhale, slowly bend that left knee. Keep the chest lifted. Inhale, we'll press the left leg straight. Exhale, slow to bend that left knee. Fight for it, lift the chest up. One more time. Inhale, press the left leg straight. Exhale, slow to bend the left knee. Now adjust your pelvis here to really square the hips as much as you can to that left side. Inhale, with the exhale, we'll drop the arms down at your sides. Roll the shoulders back and open the palms. Feel like you're lifting your chest up towards the ceiling. Core is engaged. Can you straighten out that right leg behind you a little bit more? Maybe can you bend that left knee a little bit more? Reach the chest up towards the sky. Shaking is normal. Good job. Inhale with the exhale as release the arms. Let the arms hang down at your side. We're going to inhale, slowly draw the arms up by the ears, looking up towards the sky. Core is engaged here, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one, as you're reaching up towards the ceiling and gently just a tiny bit back behind you. Feel your core pulling the belly button into the spine to support the back here. Breathe. Just do your best here. Breathe, fight to keep the chest up, lift it up, breathe. 
Inhale, we'll be slow. Press that left leg straight. Slow to release the arms down at your side. And unwind the legs, pulling that stance in and giving yourself a little bit of a wiggle here. Okay, good deal. So let's do this fun hip opener. We're gonna do it first from the floor because it's gonna be a little bit easier on the floor. So if you wish, you're, sometimes some of us, our kneecaps are a little bit tender. You'll wanna roll up your mat a little bit. Since we're on this left side, let's go ahead and stay on the left side. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Knees are right underneath the hips here. Core is engaged and you're pushing the floor away from you. We're gonna slowly weight that left knee behind you and straighten out the right leg. Final balance in here. Core is engaged. Now we're gonna turn open slowly, taking the right hand. Weighting the left hand, taking the right hand and slowly balancing to place the right hand, whoops, on the right hip. So this is rough. Right hand on the right hip, turn the hips open slowly. There you go. Good, inhale with the exhale, let's go ahead and square the hips, releasing the right hand down. This is a lot harder than I am yet. <laughs> Core is engaged, press the left hand into the floor, turn the hips open to the right, Core is strong, and we're gonna slowly place the right hand on the right hip. Balancing, it is rough here. One more time, inhale with the exhale, slow to release the right arm down. Square the hips to the floor. Whew, take a big breath in. Inhale with the exhale, turn to the hips first. Really press that left knee into the floor as you slowly, slowly bring the right hand onto the right hip, opening the chest up to the side. Perfect. Core is engaged. If you wish, we're gonna lift that right arm up to the sky. We've got that left knee really pressing into the floor, lifting the chest open. Breathe. Wow. Inhale with the exhale. Let's float the left hand down, turn the hips towards the floor, and we'll release the right knee down to the mat. Let's take the knees wide, about mass width apart, toes in towards the center. We're gonna push the hips back for a wide knee child's pose. Arms right by the ears, press those hips back just to release any tension whatsoever in that spine. Breathe. Good. Inhale, we're gonna slowly bring those hips up. And then we're gonna come up to standing. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be, the next one's gonna be easier or harder. So we'll just see how it turns out. So here with this one, again, we're gonna work our balance. So we're gonna have the right, the left leg towards the left side. So we're gonna do that same movement, the same opening up of the hips, but we're gonna be balancing here. So if you're like us, we can grab a PVC pipe and we can use it to help us balance ourselves. But of course, you might not have a PVC, or you could use a broomstick. Or you know what? Just don't lift the leg that high. It's fine. So we're going to square the hips and the shoulders over to the left side. Core is engaged. Inhale. With the exhale, we're going to lean forward to weight that left leg completely and pick up the right toe. Now, you don't have to have the leg that high. Core is engaged. So this is Virabhadrasana 3 here. Shoulders, maybe they can come even with the hips, maybe not. Now the core is strong. We're going to slowly, continuously press the left foot in the floor and open the hips out to the side, just like we were doing before. Wow, that's a lot of control. Inhale with the exhale, close the hips, and you can release the toe to the floor if you need it for balance. Let's try that again. Inhale, press the left foot into the floor. Slowly, slowly turn the hips open. Maybe you can even release the hand down. It might be easier. Core is engaged. And then exhale, turn the hips closed. Wow. We can do this one more time. Inhale, weight through that left foot. Push, push the floor away as you turn your chest open. It helps to have a fixed point on the ground. Turn the hips open, breathe. Here we are in half moon, breathe. Inhale with the exhale, 
Turn the hips down, release the right foot to the floor, and we're bringing ourselves up to stand. <laughs> that is spicy. Yeah. Are you guys okay? Are you guys okay? Sometimes I think of these things in my head and I'm like, let's try that. <laughs> and so here we are trying it. Oh my goodness. Woo! So shake out that left ankle. Relax. We're gonna roll up our mat for our um, right knee. So we're gonna be on the floor here again. Taking it back to table position, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Core is strong. We're gonna slowly wake the right knee and extend the left leg out in front of, um, behind you. Okay, extend the left leg out parallel to the floor. Inhale, really push into that right knee on the floor and slowly turn the chest open, maybe bringing the left hand onto the left hip. Keep pressing the right knee into the floor. Good job. Inhale with the exhale, we're closing the hips. Point the right thigh, left thigh, left knee, left shin towards the floor. Try it again. Inhale, press into that right knee on the floor. Slow to open. Bringing that left hand maybe up onto the left hip. Keep pressing the right knee into the floor. Finding that balance. Oh my goodness. Inhale, with the exhale, we're gonna close the hips towards the floor. Release that left hand down and just one more time. Inhale here, exhale, slow to turn the hips open. Slow to stack the left hip over the right hip. Bringing the left hand to the left hip if you can. Core is engaged. Maybe reaching the left hand up towards the ceiling. Core is engaged. Shaking is normal. You can touch that left toe to the floor if you need to. Breathe. Inhale, with the exhale, we'll float the left hand down, float that left knee down. We'll take the knees wide, toes in towards the center, and we'll push back into extended child's pose. Breathe. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Let those hips sink back into those heels. Working some really different muscles here, working that balance. It's so good for you. Great job. Inhale, we're gonna go ahead, exhaling, standing up. And so if you're like me, I know this leg is my not so good leg, so don't hesitate to grab a implement to help you. Okay, so we're gonna square the hips open to that right side. Turning the hips open to the right side here. Inhale, and then as you exhale, we're gonna slowly begin to weight the right leg and take the left leg out behind you. Core is strong. Inhale here, on the exhale, begin to slowly push a little more into the right foot as you open the hips to the side. Good job. Inhale, with the exhale, slow to close the hips towards the floor. Left thigh, left knee, left shin, all towards the floor. Inhale, on the exhale, press through that right foot and slowly begin to open the hips up, turning the chest open just as much as you can. Breathe. Good, one more time. Inhale with the exhale, close that hip down. Beautiful job. Inhale, with the exhale, core is engaged as you slowly open the hips out to the side. Maybe you can bring that left arm up, maybe not. Maybe you might be able to release your implement, maybe not. Good job. Inhale, with the exhale, slowly unwind the hips. Close them to the right side. We're gonna bring it up and say, thank God that's over. <laughs> Great job, guys. That is some rough work, and I see the doggies here to come and help us. Okay, good job. Okay. <sighs> Sometimes we gotta make things hard, as you guys know. Okay, good job. So let's go ahead, bring our stance in. Roll the shoulders back and down. We're gonna go ahead, inhale here, and on the exhale, we're gonna tilt that right ear to the right shoulder. Breathe. 
Core is engaged and the, the tendency is to want to lean. So don't lean, keep the shoulders right over the hips, press the feet into the floor and the weight is just slowly coming the right ear towards the right shoulder. Inhale, we're bringing the head up and on the exhale, tilt the left ear gently and slowly to the left shoulder. Again, strong legs, pushing, pushing the floor away from you, core is engaged. Beautiful job. Inhale, we'll rise the head up into neutral. Exhale again, right ear to the right shoulder. This time we're gonna take the right hand and place it on the left ear. Give a little bit of pressure to really open up through this whole left upper trap. Core is engaged, keep the shoulders over the hips, and we're gonna reach the left hand down towards the center of the earth. Really reach it downward. If that's too much with your hand holding, let the hand go, it's okay. Breathe. Inhale, with the exhale, just release the hand, yet keep that ear tilted towards that right shoulder. Good job. Inhale, slowly bring the head up into neutral. And then exhale, slowly tilt the left ear to the left shoulder. Core is engaged, shoulders right over those hips. Inhale, with the exhale, let's take the left hand to touch the right side of your head and give a little bit more juice, left ear to the left shoulder. Core is strong as you slowly drive the right arm, right hand down, down into the center of the earth. Keep the core engaged and think about the greatest distance between that right ear and the right shoulder. If that's too much, just release the head, it's okay. Breathe. Inhale with the exhale, we'll release the hand from the head, but keep the head tilted. Inhale and with the exhale, slow to bring the head up into neutral, soften through the knees and let any kind of tension go through your legs. Good. All ten toes towards the front, core is engaged. We're gonna do a little bit of balancing again, but working the hips here in a curtsy lunge. So core is strong. Inhale, and on the exhale, we're gonna bend both knees. Try that again. Inhale, press the legs straight. Exhale, core is engaged, bend both knees. Good, one more time. Inhale, press the legs straight. Exhale, bend those knees. Now the core is strong. We're gonna weight the left foot and take the right toe behind you. Good, directly behind you. Inhale, on the exhale, we're gonna slide that right leg over as far as we can and bend both knees. So now it's like the right knee is just behind the left knee. And this is what we call curtsy lunging. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Make sure the hips are as level as possible as you bend both knees, drawing the core in, and shoulders are up over the hips. Breathe. Inhale with the exhale, take the arms out to T position. Feel the upper back working to hold those arms out. Good, inhale, with the exhale, we're gonna be slow to press the legs straight, slow to unwind the legs. And then release that right foot into the left. Stand and relax through the hips. Mm. Good. All ten toes towards the front. Inhale, core is engaged. Exhale, bend through both knees. We're going to keep the shoulders right over the hips. Weight that right foot and slowly take the left toe directly behind you. Bending in that standing leg. Core is strong. Hips are level. Inhale, with the exhale, we're gonna slide that left foot behind us and bend both knees. And again, this is our curtsy stance. Keep the chest over the hips, squeeze the knees together, bending both legs. The hips wanna move to that right side, scoop the hips underneath you and keep the chest lifted. Great job. Good job here. Inhale, core is engaged and exhale. Let's bring those arms out to T position in our curtsy lunge. Shoulders up over the hips. Breathe, squeeze those inner thighs together. Breathe, you can feel those hips working. Shaking is normal. Good job. Inhale, with the exhale, slow to press the standing leg straight. 
Unwind the leg. And bring the stance in and relax through the hips. Remember to always take care of your body. So if you feel that we're doing something that's hurting you, pull back and maybe don't go quite that far. Okay, so let's do one more set of warriors and then we'll do my favorite balancing class to do uh, balancing um, asana with you guys. So let's take that left foot. Oh, I lied. Let's take the right foot. Turn that right leg over to the right side. Left leg is pivoted in. Chest and hips open here to the front. And we're going to stay open to the front. Level out your hips. Inhale. And with the exhale, let's bend deep into that right knee. Core is strong. And we're going to lean the torso over to the right side. We're going to take the right arm and hang it out just dangling it towards the floor, but then pressing the right arm against the right inner thigh, and the right inner thigh is pressing back. So we're creating tension right here. Roll the left shoulder back and down. Breathe. Now if you want a little bit more for the upper trap, take the left arm and tuck it behind you slowly, and maybe see if you can get the left upper arm to become flush with the body as you look up. Drop the left shoulder down. Keep looking up over towards the ceiling. Breathe. Good. Inhale with the exhale. Unwind the left arm up towards the sky. Inhale with the exhale. Keep that right knee bent, and we're just lifting the torso up. Beautiful job. Keeping that right knee bent. Maybe adjust it if you need to. Arms come out to T position. Shoulders are down. We're going to look over the right fingertips. Feel that nice warmth in that right inner thigh. Breathe. Back of the neck is nice and long. Gaze over the right fingertips. Breathe. Inhale. Let's press that right leg straight. Slow to release the arms from T position. And we'll bring that stance into the center and relax. Let that go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's always just fun to let a little bit of that tension go. We'll take it to that left side. Left foot is pointing towards the skinny edge of your mat. Your right foot is pivoted in. We're keeping the chest and the hips open to this side. Good. Inhale here. On the exhale, slow to bend that left knee. Core is engaged. Chest is up for right now. Look at the left knee and make sure it's pointing directly open to the left side. We're going to pull the belly button in and lean the chest over the left leg. Let the left arm dangle in front. Press the left arm against the left leg and the left leg presses back. So create tension there. We'll look up over our right shoulder. Roll the right shoulder back. And then take the right hand, if you wish to get the upper trap, take the right upper arm flush into the body if you can and then pull the shoulder gently back breathe keep looking up breathe keep that tension between the left hand and the left inner thigh breathe inhale with the exhale unwind the right arm reaching it up towards the ceiling now keep the legs as they are. We're going to be slow to bring just the torso up, keeping the legs right there. You can feel that little bit of a burn. It's all good. Drop the shoulders down. Look over those left fingertips. Find that warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Keep long through the torso, long through the back of the neck. Breathe. Inhale, we'll press that left leg straight. Exhale, we'll be slow to release the arms from T position. And we'll bring that stance back in at the center. Just relax the low back. Okay, so that little curtsy pose that we did earlier was to prep us for Garudasana, uh, bound, oh, it's the eagle posture. So core is engaged. Inhale, legs are just underneath us. Exhale, we're going to bend both knees. We're going to be slow to weight the left foot and take the right toe out to the side. Keep the standing knee bent. 
keep the chest lifted. Inhale, with the exhale, we're gonna balance on that left leg and swing the right leg over to touch the opposite side. Bending both knees just like we did in curtsy pose. Stay lifted in the chest. We're gonna go ahead, if you want, you can wrap that right foot a little further around the left, but maybe not. Arms are extended, and then we're gonna take that right arm in front, the left arm over the top, and swing the arms together, pressing the hairy parts of the forearms together. You can complete the twist by grabbing onto the hands. Pull the core in, we're gonna slowly lift those elbows up, keep squeezing the legs together tight, tight, tight. Lifting those elbows to open the upper back. Breathe. Great job, keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. I know those legs are tired. Just do your best. Inhale with the exhale. Slow to unwind the arms. Slow to unwind the legs. And then we'll bring everything back in and shake out that standing ankle. Wiggle out through the hips. You guys are amazing. Okay. All ten toes towards the front. Lift and hold the belly. Inhale, with the exhale, we're gonna bend both knees. Slow to weight the right leg now and extend the left toe out to the side. Find your balance, keep your hips underneath you. We're gonna swing that left leg over and bend both knees deeply, almost like you're sending the hips out behind you. Breathe. If you wish, you can take that left toe and wrap it a little bit more around the legs if you can. Core is engaged. We're gonna take the arms out to the side, cross that left arm in front of you, then the right arm on top, swing the forearms together here. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the arms, and if you want to wrap the arms a little bit more, great. Any discomfort, unwind the legs, it's all good. Inhale with the exhale, we'll be slow to lift those elbows up, keep squeezing the legs together tight, tight, tight. Bending those knees, breathe. Eagle posture is so good for us on so many levels, breathe. Inhale, with the exhale, slow to unwind the arms, slow to unwind the legs, and then bring it all in. Relax through the hips, let any tension in that low back. So, great job. Let's check in with, an, our, with our downward facing dog again. Coming to the left edge of your mat. Hands at the heart center. Inhale, draw on your arms by the ears. And exhale, forward fold. Both knees bend, fingertips reach to the floor. Walking it back to downward facing dog. Again, walking the right leg straight, the left leg straight. Keep continuously pressing those arms strong and straight, right by the ears. Beautiful job. Heels reaching towards the floor now. Find your breath. Good job. Inhale, with the exhale, we're gonna bend both knees, keeping the toes on the floor. So the toes are rocked under here. We're gonna do a little bit of a stretch. So if it's difficult, you can bring your hands to help those toes come underneath you. Because sometimes our feet are very stubborn because we haven't paid enough attention to them. Keep those toes pulled under. We're gonna press the hips back towards those heels just a little bit. Try it again, lift the hips up so that they're over the knees. And then on the exhale, press the hips back. So you're giving a little bit more juice to those toes and feeling the feet. One more time, inhale, let the hips rise up, and then exhale, press the hips back. Now you can stay right here. This might be plenty of stimulation. You might not need any more, especially you have foot problems. If it feels okay, slowly walk the fingertips towards your knees. Maybe you can even slowly bring the shoulders up over the hips. Now that is a lot of pressure, so don't, don't be afraid. You can have your hands on your thighs leaning forward. 
Or you can play back and forth, bringing your shoulders back and then bringing the shoulders forward. If it is okay, maybe you can attempt to keep the shoulders up over those hips. Wow, that is a lot on those toes. If it's too much, lean the body forward. Inhale, with the exhale, we're gonna slowly walk the hands forward. Woo, take the tops of the feet onto the mat slowly. And wiggle out through the ankles to let any tension in those ankles go. Great job. We're gonna go ahead and bring ourselves to seated posture. Seated posture here. Noticing which leg is in front. That leg or that shin that's in front, that's probably your dominant leg. It's not for sure, but most likely for me, my right leg is my dominant leg, and so that's why it always comes in front. So our core is engaged in tight. We're going to take the right hand back behind the right hip. Left hand comes across the body. Core is engaged in tall. Sit up nice and um, long. Inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to twist open to that right side. Drop the shoulders down. Breathe. Let's attempt to look all the way over that right shoulder, all the way towards the back wall. Drop the shoulders down. Feel the thoracic region, the uh, middle to upper back. Feel that open up on your left side as much as We're going to drive that right sitting bone, press it into the floor, and lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Reach up towards the ceiling, feeling again your spine lengthen. Drop your shoulders down. And from this position here, we're going to slowly tilt towards the left knee. Left ear is going to reach towards the left knee. And again, the right sitting bone is resisting the movement by pressing down. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Left hand is still on that right knee. Feel that space you're creating through that right side of your spine. Inhale, we'll bring the body all the way upright. Exhale, slow to float that right hand down. And then unwind your spine. You're sitting here for just a moment. Relaxing the shoulders over the hips. Maybe close your eyes to take away any distractions. And just feel that body, feel your body just come back into this normal uh, state of equilibrium here. Good. Inhale with the exhale, go ahead and open your eyes. We're gonna switch the weave of the legs to have the non-dominant leg in the front. We're going to take the right hand over to the left knee. Left hand is just behind the left hip. Inhale here, looking forward, and exhale, slow to turn the gaze over that left shoulder. Sit up nice and tall, pressing that right hip into the floor to counter the twist to the left side. Breathe. Good job. We're going to inhale. Slowly float the left arm up by the left ear. Keep that core engaged. Drop the shoulders down. Inhale, reach to the sky. And on the exhale, we're going to tilt that right ear towards the right knee. We're allowing the whole torso to fall over that right knee. Keep looking up towards the ceiling. Rotate the left shoulder back so you can see the sky. Breathe, reaching that left sitting bone down towards the floor, feeling that whole left side open as you're leaning towards the right. Breathe. Inhale, we'll draw the body up, nice and slow, shoulders up over the hips. Exhale, release that left arm down, and unwind the body, releasing the legs to the front. Good job. Here we go, all 10 toes in front of us, straighten out your legs as much as possible. We're gonna sit in what's called stick posture. 
Draw the shoulders right over the hips. Now here, it might be really hard because some of us have super tight hamstrings. So go ahead and bend the knees a little bit, but yet keep the shoulders right over the hips. Core is engaged. You might find that it's okay to straighten one leg, but if you straighten the other, it tucks the tailbone under because those hamstrings are so short. So it's okay, have one knee bent or both knees bent, make sure the shoulders are right over the hips, core is engaged. We're gonna reach the fingertips back behind us to kickstand the shoulders right over the hips. Only straighten out the legs if you can do so without that pelvis tilted. Core is strong, lift up through the crown of the head, breathe. Feel the shoulder blades gently, gently drawing towards one another. Now here I want you to really breathe in deep. Feeling the expansion of the chest forward, up, out to the sides and back. Good. Try that again. Inhale. Feel the expansion of the uh, chest in all directions. Exhale, release. And one more time. Inhale. Expand the chest in all directions. And then release. Release the hands towards the legs. Bend up through those knees. And let's go ahead and lay back. Lay back onto your back now. Here, we'll bend up the knees, having the feet flat on the floor. Just take a second here to relax. Let the low back release. Okay. We're going to draw the belly button in towards the spine. Tuck the tailbone under and slowly lift both legs up directly out of the hips. And it's fine that the knees are bent. Yogi's choice, legs straight or knees bent. It's up to you. Let's go ahead and hold to the back of the thighs here. Inhale, and on the exhale, open the legs wide. Drop the shoulders down from the ears. And breathe here, keeping the feet flat so that the toes are working their way towards those shins. Good. Inhale, we'll draw the legs up into the center. And exhale, one more time, open the legs wide. Keep that lower back pressing into the floor, keeping it supported. Good. Inhale. With the exhale, let's draw the legs in towards one another. One another. And exhale, bend those knees. Now here, let's go ahead and have those knees be uh, hips width apart, so about three to six inches apart. We're going to take the hands and press the hands on the outsides of the knees. We're going to push the knees against the outsides of the hands, and we're just activating the muscles here, pushing the hands against the knees and pressing the knees back against the hands. Core is strong. Drop the shoulders down from the ears. Good. Inhale. With the exhale, release. We're going to try the opposite side. So bring your um, left hand to press on your right knee, your right hand to press on the inside of your left knee. So the arms are crossed and you're pressing to the inside of the knees. Knees are still at three to six inches apart. We're going to press the knees into the hands and the hands into the knees. Core is engaged and strong. We're activating those inner thighs here. Breathe. Breathe, keep pushing, one more breath, squeezing the knees together and the hands fight to keep them apart. Good, and then relax. We're gonna relax and bring those feet softly down to the floor, arms down at your sides, turn the palms facing upward. Let's fold each shoulder underneath us and feel how that lifts the heart to the side. You're welcome to keep those knees bent, feet flat on the floor, or if it's comfortable, go ahead and slowly straighten out the legs. At any time, you can bend those knees up to support the back. Let's go ahead and soften the eyes. 
Soften the breath. Moving into Savasana or corpse pose. Sometimes this is very challenging for some people to hold this pose to create that stillness, but just try. Try to relax. Let things go. Let your face be soft. Your legs and your arms are heavy. Feeling even the weight of the torso releasing down into the floor. All that tension. Right now. Wonderful stillness. Let's begin to move a little bit through those hands, a little bit through the feet and the ankles. And we'll reach, reach out the arms away from the ears, reach the legs out to the opposite direction. Let's go ahead and bend at the knees, feet come to the floor, and we'll roll to our one side. Gently now, pressing the palms into the floor to bring your body up to your comfortable seat. Slowly we'll let the hands rise up to the heart center. I wanna thank you guys so much for coming tonight. Appreciate you beyond words. Namaste. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thanks. thank you, thank you guys. Feel free to stick around with Tia says so she's gonna do that. That wonderful core work today. I have to eat though. <laughs> I'm so starving. Yes. But next eat. time, we're doing it next week too. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, we'll be here. We're gonna. I'm gonna plan on it. Okay. I will be here, so awesome. she won't feel so lonely. Because it gets lonely up here. <laughs> it does. Nice job, you guys. So if you want to do the core class, I'm actually gonna end this class and start the new class. It's a different oh. link. Okay. So um, we just texted it out. If you need it, let me know and I'll text it to you. Um, just send me a text. Okay. 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 Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Have fun.